What is up? It's your girl Marie, aka B Breezy, back with another video. That's crazy. I've been a whole lot of, whole lot of. And in today's video, we're about to get into some of that. I have so much to tell y'all. I don't even know what to and what not to tell y'all. How do I even say this? This is a lot to say. Your girl is no longer in her past relationship. So I know I mentioned previously, like in the past, that we were going through things and I just kept praying. Every day I kept praying. With that being said, I could not take what I was experiencing anymore in that relationship and I ended it. And y'all didn't know that, but it ended all the way in February and I think you know we were still cool like we were still kicking it trying to make things shake and that's probably what y'all was seeing and then I fell off the face of earth getting out of the relationship was one of those reasons I'll probably mention I don't know if I'm gonna mention the other stuff but if I do y'all probably find out within other videos I just wanted to do one dedicated on this topic because I know this is a struggle, struggle topic for many. What made me break up with my ex was just paying attention to self, loving myself. That's ultimately what made that occur. And then it was just like from then on, I just kept doing more of that. To the point I got fed up and I was just like, I don't even think we can work on anything anymore. And so that brings me further. Pretty much ever since then, it was crazy. Like, y'all know usually when y'all break up, y'all all super, super sad and whatever y'all might be feeling until like you finally just get over it. Well, in an odd reverse, <laughs> I thought I was okay initially and I went on with life only to find out that maybe I'm not as okay as I thought and that's okay y'all. This is where we kind of get into the advice column. Okay, when y'all get out of a breakup, I just want to give y'all a little series of steps that y'all can take this is free advice take it if you want but basically when you first get out of a relationship I realized you need time more time than two months more time than three four months honestly just take some real time I'm not gonna say basically I'm not gonna say anything specific except for just take however much time you feel is necessary and that time what you're supposed to do with that is just process your emotions process your emotions so hopefully you can get closure with the person that you were dealing with I was able to get a lot of closure which I'm very thankful for but I'm gonna let y'all know I think it's something such as too much closure okay like for a period of time, me and my ex were just like communicating topics over and over and over and over and over again. And that's where I feel like y'all need to cut the BS. I feel like continuous communication about the same topics that y'all already received closure on is only not helping you progress onward. Because I was doing that, there would be like weeks where I'll be fine and then like, you know, I'm out with my friends, I'm out with whoever and then when I finally get back to myself, by myself, when I'm alone and away from everyone else, I'm still feeling those feelings. And that's because I kept that communication line open. So 
yeah definitely that's a big no-no if you take my advice and you take that time y'all you got your closure whatever even if you don't get closure that's what this period is supposed to be about you're supposed to find it for yourself like i got partial closure by talking to him but the last piece of closure is fully healing and how do you heal from a breakup my best answer is gonna be get back into doing things that maybe you had to sacrifice or you couldn't do as much or you pushed aside whatever distracted do all of those things so the things that you like for me obviously youtube is my number one hobby but outside of that i do like well right now y'all know mental health is like a big thing i'm like more and more delving into by the day by the second and it's just really helping me understand myself and it's very refreshing when you know like who you are outside of a relationship and y'all once y'all do that i believe y'all will be in a whole hell of a lot better uh position to go back out and start dating if that's what you choose to do now second little fault I didn't do that <laughs> and that's why I'm able to come on here and speak about it because yeah y'all if I learn something I like to tell it to others so they can avoid my mistake and and I'm not gonna say it was a bad mistake thank God me delving back into the dating scene I was able to meet someone decent because y'all y'all know y'all know it's crazy I'm in the ghetto Woo. but God bless me thank you Jesus thank you Sierra's prayer okay <laughs> moving forward so now y'all back into the dating scene and I just want to talk a little bit about this don't be bringing them traumas into something new and that's my last advice when it comes to dating advice like give it a whirl just take time to yourself and when you're ready jump back out and give it a whirl but yeah without saying too much that's everything that happened as far as that i've been down and out mentally y'all know i and i really do not be trying to I be trying to be that kind of person who could just push through but I'm not the type of person who could fake it who could fake the pump and that's why I appreciate y'all cuz y'all y'all be right back with with your girl when I get back on track and I really appreciate that loyalty okay period now I'm saying all that to say that I am dealing with someone new I am happy I just know that I had to come on here and speak about this because y'all gonna be wondering why the heck have you been gone and I just put y'all on game I just gave y'all a cup of tea I poured it did you sip it did you drink it did you finish it <laughs> now I gotta bring y'all up to speed I think I need to look at my camera I think I have some videos to bring to y'all before I start filming new content all right, y'all, let me stop talking because y'all know, y'all know, I can keep going. But I'm just really excited to be back on the camera and to have y'all with me. And without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But most important, be breezy, and I'll catch y'all in my next video. Peace! Subscribe! Some motherfuckers!